I've heard it said in this work that we are to find essence within ourselves. All else is false personality. Finding false personality traits has been easy. I've been able to trace back false personality traits to some event or impression. For example, I can see that many mechanical fears I possess come from my mother. And many facial expressions and strong negative reactions come from my father. I've not been able to find essence with the same clarity. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, I do, actually. Because I am a fount of suggestions when it comes to what other people should do, I only dry up when it comes to what I should do. <laughs> Sound familiar? We were like, we are so expert when it comes to what somebody else should do, and it comes to what we should do. It's like, huh? Well, I don't know. It all seemed so clear just five minutes ago. <laughs> now, suddenly, we don't know. Um, yes, I think the very first thing I would suggest is be patient. This work takes a long time. As Goenka would say, this is very deep surgery. We are talking about very, very deep, a very deep operation. A series of operations, a number of operations. It's like plastic surgery. You don't go just once. Once you start, you have to continue until you're unrecognizable as a human being, until there's nothing left of you. And essentially, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about discovering who we are. We're talking about observing what this machine is, how it works. And then we're talking about bringing to the machine that we discover, which takes a long time to discover everything that's there. Then we're talking about bringing some kind of order to it, getting it operating properly. So finding essence, it's like, it's just almost like that becomes this, this new goal that, well, when I get that, then I'll be happy, then I'll have it. And that's, I, I really want to discourage you from doing that to yourself because that's just like everything else that we do. Everything for the machine becomes this goal, which is goal-oriented thing. And it's never happy. And it's never happy because it's always got the carrot out there in front of it. It's always, you know, chasing the carrot that it's never going to really get. This isn't like that. It's not supposed to be like that. Essence, you, you are who you are. Essence is no magic bullet. You know, it's no silver bullet for, that will kill false personality or make false personality passive. Essence is just your stupid self, that's all. And your stupid self isn't much different than your stupid false personality. Essence is just a stupid little kid in you because its growth was stunted when you were a child. So there's really not much to it. If you find it, so what? Then what? Well, now I, now I know what my essence is. Yeah? Well, there can be a bad essence. Did you know that? Essence isn't just this... Like I said, isn't essence is this magic cure. It isn't this pill that you, you find it and it's like, oh, I found it. You know, this is the holy grail. This is the magic mushroom. This is it. No, it's not that at all. It's just the beginning. Then you've got to raise it up. You've got to educate it. You've got to nourish it with impressions. All the impressions that false personality has been stealing all these years. All the food that false personality has been stealing all these years and wasting, feeding to the rats and the insects, basically. All that food needs to go to nourish essence, essence, but it has not for all these years. Therefore, essence is this stunted, puny little thing. And it may have good points and it may have bad points. doesn't matter. So, so now, for us, that question is premature. And that question is going to be premature for a while, a long while. So I recommend that you don't worry so much about that. Just stay with the guidance of the work. It comes from the conscious circle of humanity. You have to learn that this work is about bringing you under the influence of higher centers. Once you start to come under the influence of higher centers, work begins. False personality begins to become passive bit by bit. Essence will emerge. But it's not going to be like a birth, like this big event. 
oh, we're not all going to get around and sing happy birthday to your essence. It's, it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be this big event. It will just slowly emerge and grow and unfold. That's my experience. And I would recommend that you stick with that. Just keep working at the things that you have to do that are right here in front of you. The things that are obvious right now. The things that you're sure about right now. The things that you don't have any doubt about. Your anger. Your fear. Your paranoia your negative states that are absolutely clear to you that you know well, that's a negative state that's all there is to it there's no doubt about it i would be better off without it i don't know what i'd be without it but i'd be better off and so that's really if you can become satisfied with that become satisfied with the process become satisfied with the with the fact that there is an intelligence overseeing your work that knows more and keeps it quiet for a good reason. <laughs> you don't need to know. And what good would it do you now anyway? You have to have something to hold this in. You have to have some kind of a vessel. We're not preparing the vessels. We're full of leaks. We're like sieves. We're full of leaks. And so until we can begin to really prepare a whole vessel, and these kinds of questions, it's fine. Ask them. Like, I think it's fine to ask them. It's, if you want to know, ask. I'll be happy to tell you. Unfortunately, my answers are often going to be like this. And I say unfortunately because I think we, we really would rather have a, a different answer. we really rather have some BS answer. You can get BS answers anywhere. You're not going to get this kind of an answer anywhere. And the reason you're not is because you won't go back there. <laughs> Why you're back here is because you're already hooked.